Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have a bag collection video for you guys and this is a video that I wanted to do for such a long time since the beginning of this year and I just never got around to it. But today I'm finally doing it. I would consider my collection to be very minimal. I love simple bags. Bags just go with anything. Anything monogram, I'm just like, okay, yep. That's my cup of tea. So you will see a lot of just very simple pieces in my collection. So anyways, let's just get right into it. So the first bag I want to share is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. I love this bag. This is my currently most warm bag. It's just like this perfect summer and spring piece just because now that we're not, you know, wearing jackets or anything, it's so easy to just throw on this little cute bag and it just fits all of my essentials it's a very very comfortable bag to wear like when i'm wearing it i'm just so mindless about it it fits so well on my shoulders i'm doing like all of these huge movements and this bag just won't fall off which is perfect so the second piece is another purse that's just been well loved i wore this so much when i first got it i purchased this together with the Pochette Accessoire. They only had like one of this left at store at the time and I just knew I had to grab it and it was a Christmas present to myself. I've worn it so much since then. I would be careful with the handle because I'm just not very careful with it even though I applied water and stain or pellet onto it. I still got like a little bit of water stain on the handle. That is just unfortunate, but I still love this little guy. It will surprise you with how many things you're able to fit in there. The strap is non-removable. I'm sure this is like one thing that most people say is like the biggest con about the Nano Speedy. The next bag I want to talk about, it is my newest addition to my collection, which is the Louis Vuitton Bicolor Tiny Backpack. So this bag comes with two straps because it's a backpack, but you can just put one strap on as a crossbody bag. I just always gravitate towards this bag now just because it's so cute and it holds a lot of stuff. It has a buckle opening. So inside, it's just a spacious compartment. There's no pockets in there, but there is a side pocket. It'll probably fit your cards and your cash, and that's about it. The strap is also leather and it is adjustable which I love. I love adjustable straps. So right now, I just have it as a crossbody bag. And then I'm gonna move on to my wallet on chain. So this is the YSL wallet on chain. I believe this is medium size. This is one size bigger than the smaller size that they have. And I absolutely love this color. I just think the white and the gold, they just complement each other so well. I love wearing this bag to dinners, to special occasions. It just looks so classic and a very timeless piece and it comes with a full chain there are many ways to wear this bag i've done a whole video dedicated to this little guy you can wear a crossbody or you can loop it one loop around and make it into a shoulder bag like this or i can just completely tuck in a chain and just kind of wear it as a uh, clutch the second wallet on chain i have is the gucci dionysus wallet on chain this is the first bag in my collection. I remembered I purchased this after I got my first full-time job after I graduated from college. So it is a very memorable piece for me. I will never get rid of this. Dionysus interior has many different colors like black and red, I believe. And I just picked the classic combination. This one I want to share with you guys, it is the Fendi Montresor bucket bag. And at the time, I was just really looking for a top handle bag that I can just just wear it like this or it can just like carry it around. I would say this bag compared to other Fendi bags, it is priced at a more reasonable price. So this piece comes with these gold hardware on the side with the FF logo and the strap. This strap is actually removable so you can just wear it with the shoulder strap that it comes with. It is a very very thin shoulder strap. I do not like wearing this crossbody because it's so thin. The weight is so concentrated on this bag, it's just 
it kind of makes my shoulder a little painful after wearing it for a while. And this bag was new. The leather is very rigid. Even after two years, I still can't close the bag completely. It's just very difficult and I don't want to force it. So it leaves this big gap opening. But anyways, I still think this is a great statement piece to have and it just really adds a little oomph to your outfit. The next one is the Vintage Dior Saddle Bag. This is the only secondhand bag that I have in my collection. I got this on eBay. Even though I love having this bag in my collection, but after owning it for a while, I'm considering just reselling it. Even though it, it seems pretty big and spacious, it doesn't fit a lot just because of the shape of it. And you just really have to be mindful of like your placement of your items in this bag, especially this side. You can't really fit anything here besides like your lipstick or your coin purse or anything. I don't wear this bag a lot just because wearing it on my shoulders, it's not the most comfortable bag to wear. It's kind of bulky, so it's just not very comfortable for my arm to rest on it. The next bag is another one that I plan on reselling. This one I actually got from a friend who went to Hawaii, so there was a bit of a discount. It's still a very classic piece, but I never reach for this bag anymore. The chain is adjustable. You can wear crossbody, you can wear it on your shoulders. One thing I don't like about this bag is the chain because this part is movable. So when I'm wearing it crossbody, it just kind of shifts and I don't like that. I like the, the chain to just be stable that stays in one place. So inside it's actually very spacious. It's just one big compartment with the nude color. It's still a great bag when it comes to the roominess and the functionality. The last bag that I want to talk about is the YSL Toy Lulu. I love this purse. I love how soft and squishy the leather is. This is a bag that I would bring to um, company gatherings or just like a very chill hangout if I don't want like a bag that's like BAM in your face. It's just a very toned down, very simple and classic bag. It has three compartments inside. It has a card slot in the middle and a front and back compartment. This is a fully leather purse which I thought was a great price point for a luxury bag. If you're looking to start a collection, this would be a great piece to consider as your first bag. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end if you're still here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!